looking at our special guest today, the Jamily Band. You guys, welcome back into the AM show. And at the top of the show, y'all know we tease a flat out fantastic guest, you guys. And you know why I'm super stoked for today? Because guess what? It's more than one. We have the entire Jamily Band with us live in the AM studio, you guys. Now, just a little bit about the Jamily Band. The Jamily Band, right? Really just was started in conjunction with the lead singer, Miss Twyla Joy. And you guys, their music really just surrounds itself around some neo soul, some gospel, some R&B, some jazz. So of course we're gonna get into the details, right, of their background. But guess what, my brothers and sisters? They are going to perform two of their original hit songs live right here in the studio. So wherever you are, I want you to infuse that enthusiasm, stand to your feet, and AM family, why don't you show your love for the Jamily Band? Woo! Hey, What's going on? Yes, y'all. I am super, super, super excited to be chatting with you guys today, you guys. So to my right, of course, you have the gorgeous lead singer, Miss Twyla Joy. If we can get into all of this joy oh. that you are exhibiting oh. today, and of course, to Twyla's right, this is my good friend for so many years. I want y'all to show your love to Mr. Nathaniel Blackwood, better known as Nice on the Keys. This is our keyboard player, you guys. And we have two other incredible band members, Mr. Sydney and Mr. Joe, who's on bass and who's on saxophone. Y'all are going to meet them in just a second. But right now, we're going to chat it up. How we feeling? Good. Yeah. Really? Woo! Yeah. It's nice to be here. It's so nice to have you guys. So, Thank you. you guys, I let's just break down this onion. Let's peel this banana. So, the Jamily Band. Love, love, love the name. Tell me about the origin of that name. Who inspired that? Where did that come from? So, um, we were a couple of us. It was actually Sydney, myself, and Joe. We were hanging out. Um, and with our friend Imani. Huh. Um, uh, she's an honorary member of the Jamily, but she coined the term. We were hanging out and we were like, yo, we're just jamming. Yeah. And we're a family. Yeah. And she was like, we're the Jamily. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> this is good. You know, so, and then we started, you know, the, uh, the we are a Jamily. Like so, a giant tree. What? She, she Reaching knows. up from the sky. I'm with you, girl. She knows. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, yeah. I love that. Okay, so the Jamily band. So, you guys, the genre of music that you do well you guys can actually do any genre because they're just that talented but yeah. I know that you're connected in your soul to R&B yeah, and to jazz and to gospel Absolutely. tell me what the roots of that music what does that do to you as performers mm. Woo. Ah, thank you that's a good question it got me good um, I just think that it just brings everything together because as you know the story of our, our people on music goes a long way goes way beyond even just in the West, you know, and to really be inspired by the stories of the music and R&B, mm. jazz, um, for my uh, personal inspiration, I think about Oscar Peterson, mm. comes R&B, think about Stevie Wonder, mm -hmm. um, gospel off, my, off the top of my head for Hammond, Commission, mm -hmm. for, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, you taking it back. Yeah. Dance, yeah. love, yeah. dance. What is it? Which one? Dance like they dance, dance, yeah. yeah. Wait, singing, yeah. see, no, Freddie was off key, so I didn't catch it. Here she go. Freddie was. I didn't I'm catch it. I'm not Twyla, and I'm not Judea. <laughs> it's cool, like, but you, I knew what you were saying. Okay. Like, yeah, we yeah, feel yeah. you. We feel you, Freddie. We feel you. My man, yeah. Nate. Yeah. My man, yeah. Nate. He really was, man. It's so of good. Us men folk got to stick together. All the music through time that yeah. has impacted each of us individually. You know, we're all from different places. You know, Nate's family, his background is from Jamaica. My oh. family's from Guyana. Right, oh. um, yep. Sid from Haiti. Joseph, African American. Um, you know, so it's like just a nice fusion. And we all grew up in obviously different households. So yeah. we just have a different experience with music. And we just want to share in that experience with our audience. Oh, right. okay, so yeah. you were speaking, Twyla, I'm gonna pass it over to my brother Freddie, but you were speaking about your different backgrounds, culture backgrounds yes. as yes. well, and as, as yes. well as upbringings. Mm -hmm. So um, 
a two part question. First part, how did you guys come together? Where did you guys meet? And the second part, how does your cultural background influence your writing process, your performance? Like, I just, how does that magic gel together? Mm. How much time you got? I know. <laughs> That's really what it is. We, we're gonna, we're gonna, a lot of bridge. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna yeah. make a long story gonna, short, but yeah, basically, have to, yeah. All of us, we all knew each other separately and individually, huh. okay? We all met in different places. I met each of them in completely different life experiences. Wow. And um, as we started to create, you know, a couple of us together, then it's like, we said, you know what, let's, let's do this collectively. Yeah. And we were trying to th think through who would be a good Mm -hmm. Pianist for this group who would be a good bass player. We were trying to find because you know the the New York music scene is crazy. Mm -hmm. There's so many musicians, mm -hmm. um, yeah, and yeah. so we wanted to. We were looking for people that had a heart. One just like a heart for God. Yeah. One uh, that want to raise the vibration creatively. Like we want to make mm -hmm. music that uplifts, yeah. that inspires. You know what I'm saying? That instills love and healing. Yeah. So we wanted our musicians to be on that type of time yeah. because the musician people just see him. Oh, they, they just a service person. They just they just do the music. No, their energy and their spirit is a part of the music. Absolutely. Right. So we wanted to make sure from jump, from even just the musical creative space, that that's what we're doing. Ooh. And that's what we bring to our audience. Mm. So every time we perform, people always say it. They're like, it doesn't matter what we're singing, what we're, we're doing. They're like, we just feel lifted. Like, I feel lighter yeah. since that, you know. And then we also include an immersive experience. We like to make them sing. Mm. We like to get them creating a part mm -hmm. part with us yes. uh, of the music, so yeah. I love that, and I'm super stoked for that because I know that we're going to do a little bit of that. Yes, we well, are. I know we're going to do a little bit of yes, that right. interaction. Mm -hmm. And the second part, how does your cultural background influence mm. like your writing process? Mm. I mean, we got Jamaica, we got Haiti, we got Haiti, we got Guyana, African American. How does that all affect your writing process? Th those ideas, that brainstorming, what does that look like? Beautifully and effortlessly. And wow. the universality of music. Yes. I mean, you gotta remember, you got people that even, for example, love reggae, if not just the beat and the music, the lyricism in it. Yeah. The message in the music. Um, the method, the message in the music, no matter what place you come from, it's mm. just like- You can appreciate it. Come, it. Yeah, it yeah. comes together. There's message in Kompa, there's, there's joy in the dance and the festiveness of it, mm. you know, in mm -hmm. Guyana and, and even, you know, other aspects, soca, no matter what aspect, jazz, R&B, the joints that we like, gospel, um, it really basically is just understanding, honoring the universality of music, you know what I mean? And we just do that naturally, you know? Yeah. We, we all just bring our ideas. I pull something, I say, what about this melody? Mm. You know, our Eric, who, who isn't with us today, shout out to Eric Lewis, he'll just hit a bass line. Mm. We're like, right. oh, keep that, keep that going, keep yeah. that going. Mm. And then our yeah. drummer, Mike, will, and so it, yeah. it's an effusion like that. It's not necessarily that we have to think through things. It's like, we're just pouring in from from what's already within us, Ooh. Yeah. And, and it just yeah. it just mixes so beautifully. It's it's like different people. People like to talk about there being too many cooks in the in the in the kitchen, but sometimes when you get the right people, yeah, yeah, the right people, mm -hmm. sometimes yeah. a good set of people is a good thing. Oh yeah, and you can create something really special and different. Yeah, and so we're all putting into that pot. Mm -hmm. I'm not the only one that's writing the songs. He's not the only one that's arranging. We're all a part of that right. creative process. Mm -hmm. oh so God. that makes a difference Ooh. when you're all in tune like that. Mm -hmm. You're all of the same spirit and then you're putting that out together. Why do I feel that though? It's like they're talking and Freddie, I, I feel that Twyla, like I can, and I haven't even heard you guys sing live mm. as of yet, and I can feel that. It's that music being this, this like universal language. I know just one thing, when I go to church mm -hmm. and I'm the praise and worship leader there, you guys, they and oh, oh nice, yeah, I'm nice. the praise and worship leader there, and when I have the freedom to like really jam out yes. with our minister of music, who is also my Uncle Mick, Mm -hmm. and my brother, who is the drummer, Jordan, we create magic. Yes. Right. It's, oh my right. God, it's so it's effortless. It's so natural, it's yes. effortless. Right. Right. You're both right. present, yes. so you're just giving mm -hmm. to yes. it. That's what Me, it is. Jordan, Uncle Mickey, Takashi, our, our bass player, mm -hmm. it's like we will, we can praise y'all in the moonlight. Like we, we do whatever we want to do. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we rock out. <laughs> yeah. And it's that camaraderie that's very, very rare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I mean it, it really sounds like y'all have the synergy because y'all are jamming. Mm -hmm. They come from jamming and jam sessions 
mentioned, we, we talked even yeah. before we started about yeah. going to yeah. Smalls, uh, Smalls Jazz Club, very famous jazz club here Smalls, in New York. Yes. Yeah. If you haven't been, um, you definitely got to go. But, um, you know, at the end, they just invite people to come up. Yeah. And, and you, were, you, were, if, you were, if you were a musician, you just come up and you can just jam. And, that, and it sounds like y'all, y'all, all y'all know, y'all have that mm -hmm. frame of mind to know. Mm -hmm. What I want to ask really quickly, because I know we, we, got, we got some little clips we want to get to as oh, well. Yeah. But what I want to ask is, you, you're on the keys and you sing. Maybe it's probably, I want y'all to both answer it, but I know it's probably definitely a question for you is, okay. like getting into what you do, like you getting into keys, like what is the impetuous, what is the genesis that as a kid growing up that got you in the keys, that hooked you to where you really started going, like this is something I want to do, like who introduced you? And then like, I know no time was singing, you realize you can sing and people, you're expected to sing, mm -hmm. but not everybody sings though. So I That's definitely want to hear from both of y'all. Mm. Um, for me, honestly, it just long story short, came out of a need because honestly, I initially started out as a bassist mm. first. Mm. So I was a bassist as a young kid and um, a keyboardist uh, that was at the time in our church setting. And I was just a teen at the time, so you know, I'm a late bloomer, so I ain't no novice, I ain't no, you know what I mean? I ain't, or, or, or I'm not no, um, you say virtuoso. Right. So I started to party late. Um, when they moved away, the, the gap was there. You really can't have good church no matter whether it's the West Indian or American church with just a bass and right. a drum for after a while. So after a while, I was watching, learning from a lot of different peers, a lot of different people, and got into, um, and it was just a perfect storm I was telling somebody because like, I think about Kevin Bond on keys and gospel, Aaron Lindsay, mm -hmm. um, those are people that I was beginning to listen to. Then I had some of my big brothers that was in already doing music that I was just really gleaning from. Just being a kid in a candy shop and just being a sponge too. Mm -hmm. Take it all in, then go home, do the work. Practice. Family was invested, yeah, for real. So that's really how it happened for me on keys. I would say like it really came out of a a need. a need. So it was just, it was, I it was, that. So, I mean, they say necessity is the mother of invention. So you right. were invented as a key player because mm -hmm. that gap was there and they needed you to fill in. Mm -hmm. You was watching and then you, it was like next man. Cause, so it's not like you want to do keys more than you want to do bass. And you know, you know what's crazy? That really wasn't even the case because mm -hmm. I had contentment in it. And Cause especially okay. as I was getting into my fields and get, had my own bass, I just gotten my own bass mm -hmm. at the time, you know? And I um, was really just enjoying playing mm -hmm. and making things happen. So it's like, you, you keep your eye on it, you know? I guess you have one eye on it. For me, that's what it was, you know? Cause I want to know how I'm flowing with the band and yeah. seeing what they're mm -hmm. doing, little things on the keys, but I didn't know that just studying and watching the little things from the previous keyboard player mm -hmm. would begin to open up as, you know, the need yeah. arose. And that's the yeah. beauty of starting in the church. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. char the church creates spaces for you to develop so many skills. Talk about right. it. So the musical skills, right? Playing instruments, because they just foster that, but also speaking, that, that kid that comes up and does that poem, that kid yes. that comes up and reads that scripture, the praise dance. Like, it really is a space that really just creatively develops people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and you, we don't realize that church serves so many purposes, but that's another huge part of what church right. does. 100%. Wait, is, that, is that your story? Getting yeah. into singing? So my start story getting into singing was, I was singing since I was really little. Mm -hmm. My sister, she was in high school when I was mm -hmm. really little, and she had a best friend who was a singer. And she heard me singing, I was like four, in the back seat. And mm -hmm. she was like, that's your little sister doing that? And she was like, yeah. She was like, no, she she can sing. Yeah. My sister didn't know. She was like, yeah. She just hear a little kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like, no, 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 no. That's a singer's voice. She gonna be singing. You know, and may that friend, her name is Anissa Fuja. May she rest in peace. She passed away. She used to sing background for a lot of singers mm -hmm. back in the day. But she told me when I was really little, like, don't you ever stop singing. Yeah. You know, and once my sister knew that, she started to foster that for me. She actually bought me a keyboard when I was eight years old. Wow. And I, we couldn't afford lessons, but um, yeah. I just used to play by ear. Yeah. I would hear something on the radio, just try to figure it out. That's how I figured right. that I could I could do that yeah. too. Yeah. So I do like to sing, but I also just like to get people singing. I used to get my friends together. You sing this, you sing this, you sing that, and we'll, we'll do this together, you know? So like that, yeah. I like doing that, and that's why that's a huge part of when we perform, what I do with the audience. Ooh, I love that. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah. There's always singers in the audience. Yeah, you always. Yeah, that. yeah. You know Always. I, yeah, I see, fact, I see right. singers the way I see mutants in X-Men. It's like, you don't know who's a singer. <laughs> you no, know, it's true. You don't know who's a singer yeah. from I'm a not a singer. Yeah. So, you know, because you know that there's going to be singers, your mailman could be a singer, 
your lawyer, your doctor. I know that people in the audience of concerts, some of them are singers. Yeah. You know, even yeah. if they didn't do it as a career, it's still something they want to actively do, and that's why they go to concerts too. Right. So I'm always going to make sure that I get the audience to sing. I love that. Now I was on your socials, and I was floored. <laughs> I know that, I know I'm going to be even more floored in just a few short minutes. But <laughs> you guys, I have to share an aesthetic to this beauty mm -hmm. that they are sharing with us. Let's take a look at our first video. Ugh, such, so musically good. You said we was gonna play a video from her socials. I thought yeah. she was about to play another video that she got. Me and her was talking in the makeup room oh, about. Oh God! <laughs> what? We're not, we're not, we're not oh, playing oh, that video. Oh, oh, oh. Lord, I'm, Lord, so Lord. I'm so funny. I'm so funny. I'm so funny. I'm so funny. You got, you got, you got to go on my IG to see what you're oh, talking about. Oh Lord! Nature, yeah. Okay, wait. So I love this sort of call and response action thing you got going on here because it's nothing like creating songs on the spot. Yeah, I'm telling you, I do that with my uncle Mickey. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious, yeah. like, how long have you guys have? How long have you guys been performing together? As a band. Let's Nate, how many years has it been? As <laughs> a band. See, see, now <laughs> you ask the real question. Yes. In reality, as a collective, yeah. it's really been three, four months. That's it. Ooh. We are But friends. collectively, like if you're saying in peace and part, yeah. play with the guitarist in about over a decade. Ooh. Play with Joe. You wouldn't know it, just really two years. Mm -hmm. uh, our MD, our co MD, Mike Mitchell. Um, wow, for a long, 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 and I long prefer... time when he was young, young in the game, and then Eric, yes, yes. two, three years, yeah. So it's like in and different places and spaces. I performed with you the first time last year. La yeah, literally. So last as year, a lead, so it's... it's always been like a like a distant admiration, mm. or like, oh, yo, much respect. Yo, you're doing your thing musically, because that's what we were all doing yeah. from when we met in 18. So it's crazy. We met in 2018, but we never collab together until right. last uh, recently. year. Yeah. It's fresh. It's new. I right. love that. But it was always a healthy respect musically for one another. Yeah. So she, you know, show love on my music and vice versa, and yeah. we did the same for each other. So it coming together really wasn't like that much surprise me. Play it back now. Serendipity. Yeah. yeah. It was right. supposed to happen. It Everything was happened divine. so divine. It was, it was aligned. Exactly. Yeah. And tell us, you guys, about your shows because I know that you play right here in the city. You mm -hmm. do. And this mm -hmm. is every third Monday. Yes. Okay. Tell us about that. Okay. So at Coexist Game House in Times Square, mm -hmm. I have an artist residency, myself and the Jamily, and we perform every third Monday. Um, I guess show starts around eight o'clock, but we do tell people to come and get a seat by seven because mm. it gets packed in there. I believe it. So come through, enjoy the music, enjoy the vibes. And we also introduce other um, independent artists, yeah. amazing folks yeah. that you need to be hearing and knowing about as well. So it's a, just a great opportunity. And then you get to sing a little and vibe with us. So, you know, I come love check it. it out. Oh my God, I can't wait. Y'all, we're going to give you one more teaser and then we are going live with the entire <laughs> Jamily. Oh, just one more teaser. And then we're going to go live with the entire Jamily band, you guys. Let's take a look at our second video. Fantastic.
<laughs> oh, girl. My funny Valentine. Oh, you heard that? Oh, she. I'm so. That, that sounded good. Yeah. yeah. I like both of you. I like your tone, Judea. I'm, you know what? Judea is very stuffy right now. She's been steaming her voice. She has to sing a lot it's okay. on Sunday. But it's thank right. you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wait, she said she liked my tone. Yeah. That was your first time. <laughs> yeah. Your first time. Yeah, that was my first time playing, playing piano. Um, live like in front of people i only just play for my voice clients i'm a vocal coach so i work with some clients in home so that was the first time i was extremely nervous thanks to nate and sydney who kind of gave me the chord ideas helped me with the flow Ooh. but that was oh, a big sorry. deal i need a vocal coach oh girl we're gonna talk after this i, talk after I, abs I, abs I absolutely need a vocal coach 100 mm. percent oh, i do too I got guys you. look it's yeah, time yeah, yeah. for the main <laughs> course it's time to eat Coming up next, we're going to have the Jambly, and they're going to come into your living rooms and wherever you are, and we're going to jam out. Oh, yeah. Y'all stay tuned after this. Stick and stay, baby. Oh, yeah. Good morning and welcome back into the AM show. All right, party people, as promised, you can see that we have literally our jamily, right, standing behind us. We just definitely want to point out the other two jamily band members. I want you to show your love for Mr. Joe on sax and Joe. Mr. Sydney on guitar, everybody. Now stand to your feet and get excited as the jamily band performs their hit original song entitled Loving You. I'm going to do better now. I'm going to do better now. So much better now. Loving You. Put your hands together and show your love. <laughs> Woo! this song in a dream it was just the lyrics and the melody and when I heard it when I woke up it was clear to me that this song could be sung and, uh, and appreciated and meant for many different ways meaning that you can be saying this to your partner your romantic partner you can be saying this to your mother your father I wish I didn't take your love for granted you, be, you can be saying this to God that I'm gonna do better now loving you. Or you could be saying it to yourself. You could be telling yourself, I'm gonna be a better person toward myself. I'm gonna do better now loving myself. So what I want you to do as you're singing this song, it's only two lines, it's only two stanzas. I want you to sing it from wherever you are in the world. I want you to put your hands across your heart and I want you to sing it with me, okay? Here we go. I wish I didn't take your love for granted. Oh, I wish 
wish I didn't take your love for granted. Oh, I wish I didn't take your love for granted. Oh, I wish I didn't take your love for granted. Oh, I'm going to do better now. Here we go. I'm going to do better now, so much better now. Sing it again. I'm going to do better now. I'm going to do better now, so much better now. Sing it, y'all. I'm going to do better now, so much better now. I'm going to do better now. on the sex. Universal. Yeah. And it, it's transitional. You can oh, sing it to anybody. You're so right. I felt that. I love mm. when I feel some music. Well, y'all, we are going to take a quick commercial break, but we have another selection coming up from the beautiful Jamily band when we return. I'm going to do better now. You better sing. So much better now. Loving you. Everybody, Judea Hartley here, and welcome back. Oh, yes, and welcome back to the AM show. Yes, please show your love again for the Jamily Band. Now, my brothers and my sisters, if you just are tuning in, you missed a little bit of their first performance. I'm going to do better now, loving you. Beautiful, beautiful song. But you guys, here comes the sweet part. We are going to sing all together, and your girl has been commissioned. I've been summoned yes. by the Jamily Band. So, you guys, this is our second and our last selection. Would you please welcome Mr. Nate, Mr. Joe, Mr. Sydney, and the beautiful Miss Twyla. Now, Twyla, girl, you got me up here. I know. You okay. got me up here. Okay, tell me what we're going to do. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a song completely from scratch. Okay. Okay, we're just going to follow the vibe. We're going to just enjoy the music, and yeah. we're just going to create together. Okay. So do you trust me? I do trust you. You trust me. I trust you, And you girl. trust the Jamily. I do. We got your back, okay? Yes. And you don't have to, we don't got to be the most amazing singer to do any of these things is just to be able to enjoy the music. That's all we ask. And share in it with your own voice. Mm, okay? I love it. Okay, I trust you. All right. So I've never done this before with someone else, but I trust you. We, we got I you. I trust you. We got, I trust you. you. We got okay. you. Okay. <laughs> 
So the first thing we need you to do is give us three numbers, and I'll explain why, but I want you to pick three numbers between one and seven. Ooh. Um, two. Okay. Five. Five. And seven. Two, five, seven. Yeah. Okay, good. So you got that, guys? A two, a five, and a seven. So I'll explain what that is. So the, you know, notes, music has notes. Mm -hmm. The notes actually... Um, coincide with certain numbers, okay, as it pertains to the chords or the music. So we're gonna take those three numbers, okay, that Judea just gave us, and we're gonna create a chord progression using the notes, the chords, that correlate to those numbers. Ooh. So that will give us the structure before we start to create the song. Oh my goodness. So and, we're, yeah. And here I am just opening up my mouth on Sundays. Yep. I don't choose no. <laughs> here I am just you, singing you, from scratch. You leading the whole thing. You see that? <laughs> okay, so you guys just kind of think of, they're gonna do their little thing with those numbers and, and then we'll take it from there. Okay. Judea, how, do you, how did you feel this morning when you woke up? Most honest space you were in. Tell me a little bit about it. I felt in song form or word form? Word form? Word form. I felt tired, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, I felt spent. Okay. I felt spent. But I felt grateful. Ooh, grateful. Grateful. I felt really grateful. I'm always grateful to God and his blessings. Even in my exhaustion, I'm still grateful. That in and of itself is enough for a song. Yeah. You make me cry. Oh, girl, that was powerful. You make me cry. Let me see what I could do. Okay. Here we go. Woke up a little tired. Woke up a little spent. In two weeks, I gotta worry about how I'ma pay the rent. But it's okay. Cause my eyes are open today I thank my God for another day I'm so grateful So grateful I'm so grateful So grateful One more time I'm so grateful So grateful I'm so grateful so grateful Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah There it is Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Oh, yeah so grateful, so grateful. I'm so grateful, so Yeah. <laughs> 
tough times, even the times where we've been going through some things, even when we're hurting, even when we don't know what's next. And that's a lot of the time we don't know what's next. A lot of us are in transition right now. But even in those moments, you're here, you're alive, right? You have a new day to make sense of it or to just trust, even if you can't make sense of it, but to trust. And so that was actually pretty easy to make a song about. Thank you for sharing in that process. Thank you for trusting me. But that's what we do. This is what the Jamily does. Thank you so, <laughs> oh my God, let's give it up for the Jamily band. Oh, I just want to thank all, everybody, everybody, especially you, Miss Twyla, for bringing your soul and your beauty and your energy, for bringing your skill and your expertise and your kindness, oh, your kindness and you. your gifts for sharing your sacred gifts bestowed on you by God. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. One more time, brothers and sisters, let us put our hands together because we are all blessed. We are all blessed. Y'all, we're going to take a quick commercial break, but before we do, Twyla, you got to tell folks where they can find you on social media. So the Jamily is a very new, fresh thing. We've only been together for a few months. So you can follow me on yeah. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, wherever, as Twilight Joy. Mm. Twilight, just like the books and the movies. And then J-O-I, Twilight Joy. Yeah. Okay, and that's where you can see what we're doing. Eventually, we'll, ha we'll have our IG page and all that, too. But um, that's where you can find us. And uh, every third Monday, yeah. we'll be performing as yes. well at Coexist. This and this and in August. Ma tell them about August. August, August 26th. 26th. Okay, is our next performance. Come right down to Coexist Game House, which is black owned and woman owned. Okay, and uh, we would love for you to come and support that experience and just kind of get into what we did today. Just yeah, have yes. fun with us. Create yeah. with us. Yes, create with us. <laughs> All right, y'all. We feeling blessed in the city and blessed in the field. Y'all, we're going to head to a quick commercial break. You know why, Tyler? Because we're blessed. We're blessed. 